Today is a special kind of rant. You may notice that I'm quite moist. That is because <clears throat> of many factors. I'm ginger. The sun is out. I've had to turn the lights on because otherwise it's too dark to film. And I've had to turn the fan off because it messes with the audio and other things. And I've had a very long day. This evening I was working at Next for about three hours just because they had a sale on. And I actually really enjoyed it. I really... That's the first proper job I've ever had. And as long as people give me stuff to do, I'm fine. I just power through it, and I loved it. Because it keeps me busy. It keeps me off the streets, because normally I'm on the streets doing crack. I'm assuming that's what unemployed people in Kitty do, as opposed to just playing video games. The problem I had was what happened this morning. Because on the website, Star Now, which is a brilliant website, well, that's okay. It's got me literally no work, but that's because I've got no prior... I've got no proper acting experience, I haven't been paid for anything. There was an advertisement for an audition for a TV film, or an internet film, that was going to go on somebody's website. Which is pretty normal, you get quite a few of those. This is the first one that responded to me. And I was a little bit trepidatious at first, because they gave you literally no information about it. They just said, this is the audition for the film, we don't want to give away too much information, we don't want to talk about payment or anything like that. So I thought, okay, but it would have been work. It would no. It would have been an audition experience. So I went. It was a fucking prank. They got all of these budding actors, people who wanted to be actors, and just sort of went, right, fly right in front of my face. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to put you in this audition, and honestly, I knew something was wrong as soon as I walked in, because. Uh, Look, I don't think they understand the concept of a prank. Because, for a start, it has to be believable. Which it really wasn't. Because as soon as I walked in I just and they started talking, I just thought, something is very, very wrong here. But I thought, okay, they said there was going to be improvisation involved. Maybe they want us to react to them in an improvisational way. But they didn't. They just made us stand there and watch them be really weird. There was four of them. The guy on the far left was just really over the top being a complete cunt to the rest of them. The one second from the left, as soon as we walked in, the guy said, sorry about my mate, he's just learned that his son has died. That's about as subtle as a fucking volcano erupting. The woman, who to be fair to her was alright, but that may have just been because of the look at top, she was the one who seemed like she was a little bit normal, but then, for no reason whatsoever, chucked a cup of glass, a cup of glass, a glass of water over the guy on the far left, right for you, and then walked out saying that he was a fucking cunt. And the guy on the far right was the one that was supposed to be the mediator, I suppose, the one who was just said, alright guys, just keep going, ignore them. I think the more astonishing thing is that the two guys who were with me believed that all of this was real. They had no fucking clue what was going on. They just... They just thought it was an audition. What essentially happened was, after about five minutes of this soul-crushing, miserable acting, we were taken into another room, and the woman said, Ha! Do you want the good news or the bad news? And the autistic kid went to me next to me and said, uh, Bad news. And she said, The bad news is, you haven't auditioned for a film. And the other guy who was next to me, who was like spitting image of Daniel Craig, it was weird, really nice guy, that's why I felt really sorry for him, just sort of went, What? I couldn't quite understand his anger that much, because he was only a ten second bike ride away, whereas the rest of us had come from fucking three hours away, but yeah. They really didn't know... <laughs> I couldn't understand how they hadn't clicked that something was wrong. And then she just thought, do you want the good news? Uh, yeah, it better be fucking good. I said, you're still going to be on our TV channel, but it's for a prank reel and you're not going to get paid. Well, fucking great. See, I thought the thing about pranks was is that usually there's a little bit of japery and haha, that was very funny. That wasn't funny. That cost me 30 quid, considerable, 8 hours of my day, and 5 hours of work because I had to reschedule with them to say, oh sorry, I've got an audition. For the record, the company is called ST SBTV, and I don't care if they get angry about this, because to be honest, I'd be more shocked that they've actually seen it. But, for someone who is now unemployed, again, because it was only two days of work, 
You cost me a considerable amount of money just to make a dick out of me. And it made me wonder, because none of us have had, none of the actors who were there have had previous acting work. Do they do this in, like, normal job situations? They'll get people to travel for three fucking hours on a train to go to a job interview and go, ha, actually, you haven't got a job. What we've done is we've videoed us making a complete twat of you. They wouldn't get away with that, and I don't understand why these people have either. I hope SBTV see this, and I hope they realise that they can suck my dick. I hate you, SBTV. You guys are absolute... And now to end this wonderful day, I can start on my pint of liquor and my chips lightly seasoned with my salty tears.